So hello everybody and welcome to another Charticulator video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create this um, column inverted chart thing. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay guys, so I saw uh, on Twitter the Financial Times data team posted a, a tweet where you could actually see the number of games played between England and Scotland for like a long period of time, maybe the entire Euro Cup, I don't remember. And this is the visualization. I actually reproduce it with La Liga, the Spanish Football League. And then you can actually, it's dynamic, you can pick a team and it will show you, right? So here it shows you the, the matches and who won and who lost. And here you can see the totals. So here is for the Athletic and here is for the bars. Okay, Barcelona. So I'm going to show you, show you how to do this. If you want to do this one, I, you will have all the files for download, obviously. I already showed you how to create a lollipop chart last week, so this is going to be a combination of lollipop chart and this one, right? So you, you'll figure it out, I'm sure. Otherwise, you'll have the file. So if we go here to page one, I have just the data in there. You can actually see it if I convert this into um, a table. You'll see the data. You have the results for team one, the results for team two, under the labels and I am going to do this time in Power BI, right? But you can reproduce the same steps on Charticulator Web if you prefer. But because I've, I had to do everything in Power BI, I'm doing it in Power BI. Okay, so let's go back to Charticulator. It is empty, there's nothing in there. What I have done though is I've added two filters. I have Alaves, uh, I just need one of them. I just, Albacete for example, and Bars. Uh, just so we can see some data, otherwise the, the columns will look the same. Ready? Let's do it. So, edit. And then here we get this particular experience that you're used to. And here's the thing that we're going to do. I am going to create two plot segments, one for the top and one for the bottom. So I'm going to plot this one. And then I'm going to on, create a new glyph and plot the second one on the glyph. Right, so I have plot one, you'll see it there, plot two, glyph one, right? And now I'm going to get rid of this original glyph or plot segment, and I'm going to get rid of the title, I don't want it. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is to put results one on the top and then results two at the bottom. You can see here. Maybe Alaba was not a good. We should see more labels. Alba said maybe it was not a good match to pick Deportivo. Okay, perfect. They just had, they didn't have all the, I don't, I want to see all the labels. So let's go back. Now, for the plot segment one, the top one, we're going to do the mark, which is going to be a rectangle though there and then for the one at the bottom I'm going to do the exact same thing plot a rectangle and now for the plot uh, or the rectangular above I'm going to put the results of one as the height and for the one in here the results of two as the height you can see that it changed beautiful and now I am going to let me see first I don't want to see the the labels for the x-axis, either on plot one or on plot two. And this one, I want to have it, you know, the, the top at the bottom. So this is here, the top, beautiful. The next thing that we're going to do is to add on the glyph our uh, data labels. So I am going to drop it in here, the text, put it outside. This is at the bottom, so for that it's going to be the results of one. And then here at the bottom we do the exact same thing, drop the text, put it in the middle, and then put the results of two. Now, let's close it up. Text one. These, it defaults by average, unfortunately. I have requested to the particular team to do sum as Power BI always sums by default, so you know people are aware of that. And then I don't want any decimal, and I want to do the same on the text up there. So I'm going to do sum, and then I'm going to 
put zero decimals. Beautiful. Okay. And now we are going to color. So the color of the shape is going to be result one for the one above and draw is grayish, win is green and loose is, I think I have like more dampened colors. I think I have something like that. Let's do that instead. And then the same at the bottom. So I grab the shape at the bottom, which is that one, and then I drop in the fill. And then I have to again, I know, sorry. <laughs> uh, I drop in results too as the fill, and then I um, do the coloring again with the more dampened colors, green, and there we have it. Now it's starting to look the same, right? But I wanted to have more compressors, it's taking way too much space. So I am going to, not there, sorry, I'm going to, you know, tighten it up a little bit. We don't need it that big. And maybe a little bit more. And then let's take a look at it and see how it's looking quite nice, right? So what are the differences now? The thing that we have difference is this in the middle, the draw lost one, and then there is a space and an axis, so it matches the axis in here. So let's go back and do that. If I go here to edit, we are going to grab the first plot segment and create first a guide. Let me show you. So I'm going to create a guide there. And then you drop the guide. This is a bug. They'll fix it. And then I'm going to drop another guide at the bottom. When you're moving things around, you need to have guides. I've learned this the hard way. Otherwise, it won't stick. And then you put it in there. And now that we have the two guides, what we can do is to grab the first plot and move it up. And then I'm grabbing the second plot and move it down. Okay. And then save, go back and see that it is doing what it's doing. Yep, beautiful. Sometimes it doesn't do it for whatever the reason. Now I'm going to put a line in there from here to here. It has to have a guide also, otherwise you won't do it. And we're going to have the dash experience and not that harsh color. Let's see how it looks. Beautiful. And now for the text, what I actually wanted to do is to have one text label here, one there and one there. And I was not able to do that. So I could only have one for everything, which is not very good. I talked, I reported that to the particular team. Let's see if they can fix it. I try to put guides to, to fix the text, but it just didn't work. So to do that, what we're going to do is to first create a guide like that, like a vertical guide, where we're going to attach the label. Again, you need to attach everything, otherwise you won't know where you would just put it randomly across the canvas. And that's not what we want. And then I, I tried, you can give it a go. I tried to put it just for, just in, in one under, but it just won't work. So I'm not going to try it again. And then here I put draw text, no, lost, that's the order, and then win. Otherwise it would have been better, obviously to have it under, save, and let's see where it puts it. Okay, because this is a, a lot bigger, but you know, as you start making it smaller. So maybe we can move the guide a little bit. Oh, okay. So that did not do it as we thought. Oh, it's because it's not, it did not attach to the guide. Okay, perfect. So now go back and then I'm going to put it a 
Exactly. Or getting close, or getting close. Put it somewhere there, maybe. They'll fix this, don't worry. So now it is in the middle, okay? So that's how you do it, basically. And you will do the same if you wanted to recreate the the lollipop one. It's the same thing. You create a lollipop above, you create a lollipop below, and then you put the years in the middle. So it's exactly the same thing. Okay, so remember the file, the Power BI file, and the template, and then the image is available at curva.com, resources, download center, and then Charticulator. You can grab, I think this is going to be 11 or 12, so you can grab them there, and you can start reproducing them if you like. So, if there is any chart that you would like me to do next, just let me know in the comments. So, see you soon, next week probably. <laughs>